Breaking news in the deadly chokehold on the New York City subway. The Marine veteran who put Jordan Neely in that chokehold that the medical examiner says killed him could face criminal charges tomorrow. That's where we start at four. I'm David Ushery. I'm Natalie Pascarella. This all comes 10 days since Neely's death. We have live team coverage in place, starting with Chief Investigative Reporter Jonathan Deans joining us from the newsroom, John. Natalie, David, News 4 has learned the Manhattan DA is looking to charge former Marine Daniel Penny as early as tomorrow. That according to two sources familiar with the matter, who tell us Penny could soon be asked to turn himself in, perhaps as early as tomorrow morning. Penny is seen on that video placing Jordan Neely in a chokehold. The medical examiner ruled Neely's death was a homicide. We are told this decision to charge was made by the DA's office in consultation with the NYPD, and it will happen without being presented to a grand jury at this time. A Manhattan DA spokesperson and an NYPD spokesperson have not returned requests for comment or on tell us what charges might be filed tomorrow. Penny's attorney also did not return calls for comment. Neely's family and numerous political leaders have called for criminal charges, and that now appears to be in the works again as early as tomorrow morning. Penny's attorneys have said the former Marine was protecting himself and others on that train from a man with a history of violence and mental illness. We await word on the expected charges, but again, former Marine Daniel Penny, 24 years old, is expected to be asked to surrender perhaps as early as tomorrow on criminal charges related to the death of Jordan Neely back on the subway on May 1st. David. Our chief investigative reporter, Jonathan Deans, breaking news on this. We'll check back with you, Jonathan. And as Jonathan suggested, this touched a nerve in this city. It's been 10 days since the death of Jordan Neely. Outside both City Hall and the district attorney's office, protesters have been doubling down in those calls for justice. News 4's Andrew Siff continuing our team coverage. He's at City Hall. Andrew. That's right, David. This late development may or may not change the sentiment of some of the protesters. They have been out there, as you mentioned, almost daily over the past 10 days, including in the subway, out on the street, at the DA's office today, again, making those calls for some kind of justice. Candles and flowers outside the DA's office and two prominent signs, justice for Jordan Neely and prosecute Daniel Penny. It's a sad day in America where its citizens have to camp out in the park across from the Manhattan District Attorney's office for him to simply file charges. This group of activists planning to camp out at the park on Leonard Street until DA Alvin Bragg decides whether the chokehold that many New Yorkers have seen on video was a crime. We follow the facts. Bragg was asked about the case at a justice panel this week. We do that work mostly, you know, behind closed doors. Uh, and, and that's important uh, because we don't want to impair investigations. Meanwhile, Mayor Eric Adams has said little about the case other than renewing his call for improved mental health services. Jordan Neely was on a list of 50 high-risk homeless New Yorkers. We need to make sure we prevent these things from happening. That is within my span of control. Attorneys for Daniel Penny, the veteran who placed Neely in that chokehold, said Penny never intended to cause harm. But the lack of an indictment so far has intensified the emotion at protests. And Bronx City Councilman Kevin Riley today said it's also reignited questions about race and what some see as unequal justice. I don't care if I'm a council member. When I see lights behind me, I'm afraid. You know why? Because I'm a black man first. Now, Mayor Adams was asked today why he hasn't been more forceful in asking for the DA to bring criminal charges. The mayor said he didn't want to bias the process and create an atmosphere where a defendant seeks a change of venue should it go to trial. We're live at City Hall. Andrew Siff, News 4 New York. All right. Thank you, Andrew and Jonathan as well. They're staying on top of it. We'll continue to monitor this breaking news throughout the newscast. Also at NBCNewYork.com. You can download the free NBC4 New York app as well to get breaking news alerts sent right to your phone or tablet.